Secretary Levitt, uh, great to have you with us on the program. And uh, you just heard from, uh, you know, from your uh, successor, uh, uh, Secretary Sebelius, uh, saying that essentially, uh, you know, she's optimistic that the Republicans are going to come on board uh, with this health care reform bill, of course, if they play the cards right. Uh, do you think that that's a possibility? Do you agree with that? What is your percentage chance that this is going to happen? Well, there are ideas that Republicans embrace that are incorporated in the bill, but there are so many that are not that I think it's likely that you won't see Republicans embracing this bill. I think they would clearly embrace an opportunity to start again and to put ideas on the table on which there is, in fact, a joint agreement. Uh, at this point, I think there's still a fairly good chance that we can see reform move forward, but it is going to have to be with a restart and uh, common ideas and a process that involves everyone. So you don't like this idea from President Obama that he is taking basically the Senate bill, uh, mixing up a little bit with what the Republicans have wanted, what we saw in the House, and putting that forth. You think he should have started with a clean slate? Well, actually, as I read the president's proposal, I don't see that. I wouldn't characterize it that way. He's taken the Senate bill and he's added some ideas from the House bill uh, designed to attract some Democrats who are uncomfortable that the, the Senate bill doesn't go far enough. It's the reason that the president's uh, bill is uh, over a trillion dollars. I think it's well over a trillion dollars when it's actually scored but, but, because it moves but, but, benefits up. Uh, Secretary Levitt, it's, it's Peter Cook here in Washington with Betty. Uh, let me ask you, the Republican proposal, at least the one that's uh, been offered up from the, the House, uh, from Representative Boehner so far, would only uh, extend coverage to about 3 million Americans of the 46 million right now without it. The president's still sticking to his guns. 30 million is the target in, in his proposal. Uh, how do you reconcile that gap right there? Is it, uh, is it inadequate for the Republicans to put forth, uh, put forth a proposal that doesn't cover more people? Uh, every American needs to have access to an affordable policy, and, and three million obviously doesn't solve that. For that matter, 30 million doesn't. But we all share a substantial problem, and that is the need to get the cost of health care down. Because if we can get the cost of health care down, more people can afford it. So if we've started focusing on the cost and not just getting more people covered by the government, I think that allows us to make progress uh, in both categories. And how do you do that? How do you bring that cost curve down? What's the one thing that you think Republicans and Democrats can agree on there? Uh, if we would fix Medicare and allow Medicare uh, Part A and B, the hospital and doctor part, to operate a lot like the Part D, which is the drug program where we have to have competition. When we have competition and people know what the quality of their product is, the cost goes down and the quality goes up. And we have virtually no competition. And it's hard to do that in okay. health care, but if you do it among the plans, it, history has demonstrated it can happen, and the cost will go okay. down and the quality will go up.